Before we go looking for life on other planets, can we stop killing life on this one? The Philippines is home to more than 1,400 fauna and 950 flora species, making one of the mega biodiverse countries in the world. Our waters and lands are all rich in wildlife, providing us with lots of resources. Throughout the years, however, our environment has been subjected to global environmental threats such as climate change and global warming, caused by increase of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. With these threats, what is the current state of the Philippine environment? Sari-saring uri ng mga illegal na pinutol na kahoy ang nasa bat ng mga otoridad sa lalawigan na lalawigan. Amoy may bumabagsak na lava mula sa Mount Banahaw, pasado alas 6 kagabi. Yun pala'y nilalamon na ng apoy ang paligid ng crater na... Kahapon, tanaw pa rin ang makapal na usok mula sa sulfur vents malapit sa tuktok ng Mount Apo. Pinalaman ang pagbaha sa pagkakaingin sa kabundukan, kaya hindi na rito napigil ang... Kanatiling malaking problema sa Metro Manila ang mga basura sa mga sapa, ilog, pati na sa Manila... Pero sa aming paglalayag papunta sa Isla Pulo, sa Nabu Botas, ito ang tumambad sa amin. Mga inanod na basura mula sa iba't ibang kalapit na... The haze that cover parts of Metro Manila. But it looks different in the morning when the haze is thicker and darker. Metro Manila counts almost 8 million vehicles and growing, contributing to a staggering 80% of the total cost of air pollution. Benham Rice ay nasa dagat pasipiko na may mahigit 200 km ang layo mula sa Aurora Province. Talampas o tabletop mountain ito na nasa ilalim ng karagatan at mayaman sa mga bahura. Oil exploration between the Philippines and China in the West Philippine Sea. Nevertheless, Malacanang maintains to uphold the arbitral rule. Today, Environmental problems in the Philippines include pollution, illegal mining and logging, deforestation, threats to environmental activists, dynamite fishing, landslides, coastal erosion, biodiversity loss, extinction, global warming, and climate change. Is it too late? No, it's not. We can still do something. To manage it. To protect it. To preserve it. So, let's start now. In a specific location, particularly at San Vicente Elementary School, San Vicente Barro Surigao del Sur, a college student from Northeastern Mindanao State University with a course Bachelor of Elementary Education were able to discuss about how can they contribute to the betterment of our environment. They are also able to share some thoughts and ideas with each other about the environment around them. students believes that it is not too late for us to rethink our approach towards our mother earth. There are so many ways for us to protect, to manage and preserve our environment.
one of the first conditions of happiness is that the link between man and nature shall not be broken.